Hi, I'm Ian Cole, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on adjusting residential humidifiers. As the weather outside gets colder, the air inside gets drier. So dry that many homes use humidifiers. Some humidifiers are portable, typically using warm mist, cool mist, or ultrasonic technology. Other humidifiers are permanently installed as part of the HVAC system and called whole house humidifiers. Common designs include bypass, fan powered, and steam. No matter what kind of humidifier you have, it probably has an adjustment knob. Unfortunately, most people don't know how to set it. You know you've added too much humidity if you're starting to see condensation on the windows. In fact, the colder it is outside, the more likely you are to get condensation. It's best to adjust the humidifier based on outdoor temperature. But if you're the type to set it once, then forget about it for the rest of the season, you should err on the side of a lower setting. Although it's ideal to maintain a relative humidity above 30%, that level may lead to condensation if a home is poorly insulated or has excessive air leakage. What's the big deal with condensation? This is a picture from a poorly insulated home with a portable humidifier turned on high. Condensation on the walls led to mold growth and ironically enough, this humidifier was supposed to be helping an asthmatic child. If you'll be using a humidifier this winter, be sure to keep an eye on windows and other cold spots. If you see condensation, you know it's time to turn down the humidifier. If you'd like a professional to assess your indoor humidity and air quality, visit the Indoor Air Quality Association's website and click the Find an IAQ Pro button to find someone near you.